What makes uh, catmelina unique is its oil composition. It's considered a very healthy oil because of high omegas. When you crush catmelina, both the oil and the meal have a very long shelf life, is in the order of years versus months. We're entering new markets with catmelina, the aquaculture market, the companion animal market, the poultry market. Generally, farmers in Canada rotate between a cereal, a pulse, and an oil seed. Having other oil seed options is it's very, very important. We very much need to diversify our, our end-use markets in terms of countries and end-use needs. So Camelina brings that as well and uh, provides another profitable opportunity for farmers. It's been grown for thousands of years, especially in uh, Eastern Europe. Uh, here in Saskatoon, we are running uh, possibly the only substantial camelina breeding program in the world to improve the crop. You do that in a variety of ways in uh, terms of yield, oil content, oil composition, adjusting the ratios of the omega-3s and 6s to make it even more healthy. Smart Earth will be the only company that will have a variety that's substantially larger in seed size. In 2020, we'll introduce our newest variety called Cypress, which is a seed that's 40% larger. And Camelina, we've discovered, can handle frost down to minus 10 degrees Celsius. And in fact, Camelina is the only true winter annual oilseed crop that we know of. We're excited about introducing uh, the world's first herbicide tolerant camelina. We've been growing and contracting camelina for the past six years in Canada and our goal year over year for the next five years is to double production from the previous years. Ten years from now you will see camelina grown on a scale that flax is currently grown in Canada. We certainly appreciate the funding from the diverse field crop cluster and and it's important that uh, we're a part of that cluster and continue the research. This is truly a national effort in terms of making Camelina Canada's own next oil seed crop.